Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout. I'm planning on using these four photos and it's all, um, I want to talk about the different shows that are going on uh, during your cruise um, in the evenings and stuff. So I went to a few of them. I missed the first one and I'm so upset because I don't know, it was our like her second night maybe and you know it we had did a lot of traveling our flight there was like we left well we had to get to the airport for like four in the morning I think or 3 30 in the morning and we never got to our hotel room till two in the morning so we were up for a long time <laughs> A very long time. I think it was 25 hours by the time, you know, uh, the time conversion and all that. So we were pretty exhausted. So I didn't go to the first one. And then the other ones I went to and I was like, why? Why didn't I go? Because <laughs> these are so good. But we're going again on a cruise. My husband and I in March of 2020. So I already know. Okay. Those shows, you got to go see it. So this was a page kit that I put together. It's all scraps, as you can tell. So don't know how much of that I'm going to use, but I'm just going to put it on my chair here. I actually have like a stool that I can sit, but most of the time I stand. So this pattern paper here, I think this is, I'm not going to guess. It's Amy Tangerine, Oh Happy Life. I kind of like that divider here. So I think I'll put one show thing here and one show over here. So the first thing I want to do is see how I can cut these pictures and make them work. Um, there was a show on ice and the ice wasn't very big, but I can tell you, man, they put on an amazing show for that small of an ice rink like I was impressed it was really good so that show there I went we didn't plan I didn't know she was going and she didn't know I was going I was just like oh I, I'm going to see that I don't care if I have to go by myself and I'm walking up and down the aisles trying to figure out where I'm gonna sit and all of a sudden I hear Nicole <laughs> and she um, was sitting there so I'm like oh cool I get to sit with you because remember there was like 20 like 12 or 14 of us that went so we kind of had all our own kind of schedule and stuff right uh, it's not as if you just went a couple people and then there's another girl that joined us after we took that picture and then this was another night this was a broadway play it was amazing and we ended up going my roommate and this is the girl that I said that I found out on the trip she's my cousin and then another lady and we had a blast it it was so good it was really good and I took a few pictures but the only one that I have is sort of like before they started the show so I'm okay with just using that I need to cut that down to make it equal with that one so I think if I cut it just above this that might be a little too big yeah I'm not measuring I should be measuring but I'm eyeballing usually works out okay so I think I want to use these two I might crop this a little bit more maybe to kind of match that yeah maybe I'll do that because that's kind of big I think wait if I do this I think I'd like to use this okay let's not cut it down quite yet let's figure out how this is going to fit on the layout I want to put one here kind of use the paper
Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have to cut this down at least a little bit. And then maybe kind of do something like that. But I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Because I also want to mat my photos. So I think I'm going to mat one photo with pink and one photo with gray. So where this has pink in it, and I think I want, do I want the pink up there? Or do I want the pink down here? I can map the photos. I know I want these photos to be on pink and then I can move them around and see how, which way I like it better. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother going in the center. My time is super limited today. Uh, today's the 8th of November, so this is the day that this is going up. I ended up working a day shift yesterday in the transfer room that I was talking about. So I talked for 12 hours straight. So my, my throat is hurting a little bit. <clears throat> One thing that they say my job is really hard on is your vocal cords because you talk all day. <clears throat> and I remember going to a 911 like uh, convention, I guess. And they said that you should rest your voice. They said, they actually talked about like singers and stuff. And when they, you know, before a concert, they need to rest their voice. And they said, you guys abuse your vocal cords just as much because you talk nonstop for 12 hours. So on your days off, you really should consider like not talking. <laughs> so what do I do? I start a YouTube channel. And I, you know, have to do voiceovers and I do classes and I do voiceovers and so I'm talking all the time even when I'm I'm home, but it's all right. Okay. So I can feel my if you can I don't know if you can hear it, but <clears throat> Uh, my voice is a little scratchy, scratchy today. Okay. I kind of like that. I know it says my story, but I just want to talk about, you know, how I went on this cruise and I didn't even know about these shows. For some reason, I didn't do a lot of research on anything before I went. It was more like, you know, just kind of try to keep up with life and, you know, getting this done and that done. And then all of a sudden it's like, Ooh, it's time to go. And it's like, okay. And then, you know, then we're on the, I think too, I didn't want to be nervous about it because I didn't know if I was going to feel sick all the time. Cause I get car sick, like driving in a vehicle. So I didn't want to almost dwell on it too much. And then before you, we, I knew it, it was like, oh, it's time to go. It's like, oh, okay. So I didn't do too much figuring out what was going to happen while we were on the cruise and all this stuff. I was just and I find too, like this time around, I am thinking about it a whole lot more. I'm forever on, you know, Royal Caribbean site, kind of looking at the excursions we can do and all this stuff. And it's like, oh, time is going to be really dragging really slowly because now I'm really kind of anxiously awaiting. So, okay, so I'm going to do... A cluster here, a cluster here, and then maybe right underneath that photo, 
so that it's in between all the photos. So that's good. And above that title, that's good. I'm going to start gluing things down. Like I said, today is Friday, November 8th. My youngest daughter, so my middle child, her birthday is on Sunday. I'm working on Sunday, my regular shift. Yesterday was uh, an extra shift. And so I can't do her birthday thing on her birthday. So I gave her the option of today or tomorrow. And tomorrow she's busy. So she said, what well, can we do it today? And I said, sure. I'm not working. Actually, my husband is not working. He took the day off because he's been he's been working crazy hours. I'm talking like eight hours during the day and then coming home and then working five or six hours at night. It's been kind of kind of crazy around here. Um, and then you add Mason's hockey and all that. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it here. I know I mentioned it during the class, but Mason got invited to this special hockey school or yeah, I guess special hockey school. Uh, it's called the CCM Academy school for hockey or whatever and it's by invite only and the first time that they went they brought all the parents in and they said your kids are being scouted and we're like what <laughs> and they're like yes even at five to seven years old the scouts are already starting and it's um you know not for the NHL or anything, but this is the beginning. Um, it's being scouted for provincial teams and all that stuff. And even because he went, like he's in this hockey school, in the spring they're making like a provincial team. And he's going to play like with teams like from all around. So... It's like, oh, cool. And it's not as if we have to, like, it's not us going, Mason, you need to, you know, da da da. We told him about the school. We told him what it was. And he was like, oh, yes. We didn't know it was a scouting thing, but we just told him it's not going to be playing games. They're going to, because he took, um, it's called BAM this summer. It's Balance, Agility, Mobility. And it's to, it was to teach him to skate better and stuff. And at the first day, he was like, I didn't like that. Like, we didn't play hockey. And then we explained to him that, you know, to be a better hockey player, you you need to know how to skate. Like, that's the main thing. And even though you're a pretty good skater, you can definitely get better. And just to give it a try, and if he didn't like it, like, we paid for it, so... We asked you and you said yes, so now you got to finish. Like that's, even with our kids, we always, you know, if they committed to something, like once the money is exchanged, you got to stick with it because it's a lot of money. So he was like, okay, I'll give it, you know, I'll give it a try. He absolutely loved it. And even like when he started his regular season, like parents were coming up to him and saying, Mason, what did you do all summer? Did you just skate all summer? That's how much he improved in the, you know, August, September of doing that, that BAM program. So he wasn't even done the BAM program and he got invited to this. So we told him, we said, you know, this, they're going to focus more probably on, they're going to focus on skating, but they're going to focus on you handling the puck and all that and he was like oh yeah I'm all over that so last night was the first time that it was only a second time last night but it was the first time I got to see him and my goodness what a good program he's loving it you should see him I, I'm gonna film him next time a couple weeks is the next I'm gonna film him he just like the whole time he just gives her. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. He just loves it. Loves it. He wakes up in the morning and he says to his mom, is this a hockey day today? Like that's just how much he loves hockey. 
He just talks about it all the time. And he loves to go see our junior team here. Loves to go see them. Him and my husband are going to go on Sunday. I work, so I can't go. I feel sad, but I said, you guys can go without me. Like, it's, it's cool. I'm crying a little bit inside, but it's okay. <laughs> no, I said, you guys can go. I'll get to go next week. Um, I think this year we're going to try to go to as many games as we can. I want to use that... I want to use a heart too, but I don't know where. My story. No. I just want to use it because it's cute. Okay. I like layering stuff because it makes it look like, oh yeah, th these things belong together. I like this love thing, but it's pretty big. I could put it so it connects this, but I, oh, it's so big. I think I'll have to, I'll have to skip it. I think I'm going to use that star just because they're like, man, these people are stars. Like, you got some pretty talented people doing the Broadway show and like the ice show. All the other stuff doesn't really like Life's a Beach doesn't work. Catching Rays doesn't work. Beat the Heat doesn't work. Um, I might use a little bit. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, that's the same. I might use this one here. Oh, I didn't glue this down. Let's glue this guy down. The sunglasses and the bathing suit. I guess, you know, it, it was on the trip, so it's all good. Little happy faces. Kind of upside down, so I don't think I can use that. That pink is really off, so I'm not going to use that either. Uh... How about if I use this label? So anyway, Mason last night, like we went to, to see him play that hockey thing and it was like from 6.15 to 7.15. Then we had to rush home. We had to get just like McDonald's on the way home because my husband had to work at eight. We got here at, you know, 10 to eight or something. He just had time to run downstairs. So he went straight to work, and I think he worked to like one. And then Mason and I ate our supper, which was kind of late, but we picked him up right from daycare. I worked till five. My husband worked till five, and then we picked him up at daycare, went to hockey. Then he came over and slept over, but we, um, we had supper, and then... I want to read a book. We're reading this book, Geronimo Stilton. And he was like, Nami, I just, I don't think I'm in the mood for that tonight. Can we just lay here and watch a couple of episodes on TV, on Netflix? So I think it's called Sam and Cat. It's with Ariana Grande. And uh, it's a pretty old TV show, but he loves it. It's kind of silly. But we watched a few a couple episodes of that they're like 20 minutes each and then it was like okay bedtime it was like nine o'clock and then we went to bed so it was pretty a packed day again i got up at 4 30 in bed by nine <laughs> and of course he wakes up super early this morning I'm like oh i just want to sleep but so my husband and him right now are gone to get the stuff for my my daughter's birthday she always wants sesame chicken which is this amazing dish it's amazing but it takes forever and a day to make well not that long but it feels that long a ton of cutting a ton of you know cooking 
and uh, she doesn't want a birthday cake. I didn't use any pattern papers. That's okay. I kind of like it like that, just with the cardstock. It's okay. I find because of the two-tone pattern, I'm okay with it. So I'm just going to get maybe gray and pink mist, and that'll be it. And then she doesn't like cake. She just likes pie. So I'm going to make a lemon pie and coconut cream pie. But he's gone to get all that stuff because I didn't have any of that stuff here. Like the chicken, all the stuff. So they just left. It's like 9.30 in the morning. I said, that's perfect. It'll give me time to get my video done for today. And then I start to work on Sunday. So tomorrow I'll have to get a few videos done for my work rotation. I've kind of uploaded quite a bit in the last few days, but I don't think I'll be able to keep that up too, too much because like I said, I have to have to work and stuff, but, and now it's almost like, it's almost like a full-time position again with all those extra shifts that I'm taking. So they're not all in a row, but it's, um, it's kind of a lot. Okay. But I want to take as many as I can before winter starts too much. Like today, snowstorm. Yep. It's like, oh man, it's only November 8th. Come on. <laughs> we don't want that yet. I want to put amazing here. I'll put like amazing shows. And then I can talk about my experience with those shows. And this time around when we were, you know, a day at sea, we were scrapbooking, so it'll be fun to see the stuff that goes on <laughs> during, you know, the day. Do I want to put, uh, unless I put it down here instead, and then I can put the title, and here I can just put the days that our cruise was. I think that's what I'll do. Because I don't want... Oh, I hope I have enough room. That's why using the... What do you call it? Wax paper is smart. <laughs> I'm not being smart right now. How many times? This is the third time I'm moving it. Otherwise, on the wax paper, I could have just went, oh yeah, no, here. This is how it's going to fit. Amazing. And this is the last time I'm, I'm going to make it fit, even if I have to squeeze the letters together. Amazing shows. And the S. And then I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> uh, I know I said too bad I'm going to make it work. Yeah, I'm going to move it. Okay. Yay. Underbar. Okay. And now I can just do my journaling here. Love it.
Love it. There's still quite a bit of embellishments left, but I like it the way it is right now. I like this little journaling card. I like the second title. You know, I have two titles. I have a main title and a secondary title. I like the embellishment clusters. This kind of is my big one, my medium one, my small one. I like it. I like it. I like it. One thing I could have done different is see how if people here, people here, I could have inverted the photos, put the show here, people here, just to make it so it's almost like a mirror image, but it's done. I'm not going to change anything. So that's it. That's going to complete this layout. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.